not uh, I, I'm not the hero in this case. I think that there are other people who are who've done a lot of fantastic things for these young people. Um, who, some of them who've lost their lives, and some of them who are still suffering and trying to recover. And for that, it is a day that we need to commemorate going forward forever. Thank you. <laughs> peacefully asking for justice for our brothers and sisters and if there were no youth there will be no tomorrow and we are proud that the Minister of Justice and the Minister of Information have come out to join us who would have thought that would ever happen this is the new Gambia we are asking for justice for our brothers and sisters and we need it now my name is Nima Sedi I'm 18 years old well, the day is important to me because it was the same day um, students asked me were killed. And I really feel it. And we need justice. Justice needs to be done so that their soul can be rest in perfect peace. My name is Maria Magnassi, Lajikuna Upo Bay School. Um, it gives me remembrance. It, remembers me, um, it makes me to remember about the past and to fight our rights that we students will fight our rights and we should be given justice. My name is Madina Dingyai. I'm very proud to be in this one because our kids have been killed for so, hard, for so long. We don't have no justice. But I thank God today is the right day to speak out that we want justice for our kids. And we know how important this day is. It's very important. And um, you know, so many lives have been lost in vain and um, it shouldn't be like that and I believe everybody here is demanding for justice because it could have been your brother, it could have been your sister, it could have been your mother, it could have been your father. very significant day. I was a journalist. I was still a reporter working with the Daily Observer in 2000, April 10. I was actually in Brigham. I was posted there to cover the events while students were rioting and protesting in Westfield and other places. I was in um, Brigham. I was covering the, the student protest there and then I saw, you know, in my own eyes how, you know, military use heavy handedness, brutalities to torture people. They shot at people. Somebody died there. So, and, um, so I was part of this story. I remember when the military moved in, I was stuck in the Brigama police station. I had to jump over the fence to, to escape because people were coming in. And then I saw a mechanic, somebody who was shot in front of me, and he, he dropped. I don't know what happened to him after that. But then 17 years, this day was never commemorated like this because the government would not allow anybody to commemorate. So today being here feels surreal. It feels so good. It is sad. It's emotional, but it's also promising because of the fact that um, this government so far has shown commitment even allowing for this to happen and having officials here from the government, cabinet ministers, shows that they are committed to this cause and they are committed to see that justice is served to the victims and their families of April 10, 11. And I hope that continue. I hope those who inflicted that pain on the people, who, the soldiers who killed people and tortured people, will face justice. Okay, well, Gambia, this is a day we have to commemorate. You know what I'm saying? This is the day, this is uh, uh, one of the biggest disasters ever to take place in Gambia. This is a day that we have to remember the youths, the victims, the students that passed away. You know what I'm saying? As a nation and as a population, we have to we have to apologize you know and we have to remember you know the victims you know if we don't do that the the, the sins will be forever over 
you know what I'm saying, over Gambia. Yes, 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 yes.